bottom of the sea, they are stewards of the land. And this week, First Nations guardians are on Quadra Island, passing on knowledge to a new generation. Cord Kerbis has more. Heading towards Vaughn Island, guardians from six island First Nations prepare for another day of learning. Our guardians are basically the stewards of our lands and sea. Um, our guardian department strives to take care of everything from the tops of the mountains to the bottom of the ocean. They are stewards who monitor 8 million acres of northern Vancouver Island right up to the south central coast. They've gathered this week to exchange ideas and to expand their knowledge. They're all very special people and, and, and to have the passion for what we do is, you know, it's not something for everybody, but it's really important to all of our nations to carry on this work. Today's learning is all about legally harvesting kelp. As environmental protectors, they also have to know how to educate the public on impacts incorrect harvesting can have. It plays a very important role in our environment, not only um, with oxygen, but uh, all our little sea creatures. You know, it, it's like a forest. Right? So they need that to begin that life cycle. Some of these guardians have been active for several years. Others, like Alex Thomas, are still new at their role. I think it's so integral that we kind of keep up that tradition of getting young people into places where their voices are heard, where they can actually like make change themselves. Her mother is also a guardian, and the two share a special bond of protecting nature. It's definitely a family thing for me. Um, you know, I've always been there supporting the work from that home aspect and also working out there myself. This marks the first gathering of the Guardians after a two-year hiatus due to COVID. We're educating and sharing and learning how to grow together by building partnerships all around in our traditional territories. And now filled with fresh information, they'll be back out onto the water and in the forest to be the eyes and ears protecting the environment. Gord Kerbis, CTV News, Maud Island.